Hey everybody, this is Josh Thomas. I'm going to show you how to do uh, get your FTP client today. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, and uh, you don't really need to know a lot about what it means or uh, how it works. All you need to know is that, that it is a very important kind of a bridge between the content pages that you're creating on your desktop and the published pages on the internet. So uh, if you're creating a website and you want other people to see it, it has to be published to the internet on hosting service. In order to get your pages there, you're going to have to use an FTP. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, go to my website, joshthomas80.com, and you can click over here on free tools. And it will take you to this page. It's going to look a little different eventually, uh, but this is the uh, basic outline. You click on website tools here you can see where you can get your domain name get your free web design software and get your hosting service set up those are all things that I recommend you do first do all of that first before you get your FTP it's kind of the last step for getting your uh, web pages published now if you're using Windows you're gonna to want to use FileZilla and if you're using a Mac you're gonna to want to use CyberDuck and both of these are free open source software not going to cost you anything you don't even have to register to get them so I'm on my Mac I'm going to click on CyberDuck takes you right to the website go over here where it says download click the download button and then it's going to give you this binary file to download so you download that and uh, it's a disk mounted image and once you get it there on your uh, desktop you just double click to open it up and it does the rest for you Okay. I already have it so I don't need to do that. After you get that downloaded, you're going to go to your hosting package and go to your control panel. I use HostGator because it is uh, probably the most affordable and offers all of the features that I need. Okay, There's a lot of stuff on here on the control panel. I go into a little more detail in the uh, hosting video, uh, but there's a lot of stuff on here you just don't need to worry about. One thing that will help you for sure is FTP accounts. Go down to files, find FTP accounts, select. Okay. Now here's where you create an FTP account. Okay. So let's say um, you know I have a website. I think I've already done it. Yeah. Uh, Real MLM Answers. Dot com. Okay. I haven't really done much with that uh, domain, but I just put it in uh, a few minutes ago. Okay, you're going to create a password. Okay, and then you click create account and it will tell you, I think I've already, yeah, account created successfully. Awesome. And you're going to come back and scroll down to account management. You're going to see that it's already there. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I want to show you something on my main site so you can see how fast this thing works. Okay, so what you would do to get that uh, that configured is you would just click on that button. We're going to go up here to my main site, joshthomasad.com. We're going to click configure FTP client. So it gives you uh, three options here. I'm not familiar with core FTP, uh, but I have used FileZilla and CyberDuck, and they both work great. So I'm sure Core is fine. Uh, I just haven't used it before. So if you're on Windows, you're going to click here for FTP configuration. Okay, if you're on Mac, you're going to click here for FTP configuration on CyberDuck. I'm going to do that now. Gives you another binary file. You're going to click OK to download. And it should be done for you already. It goes pretty fast. Okay, and there it is. So what we'll do CyberDuck is the uh, cute little ducky here on the uh, the bottom of the desktop. Uh, maybe you know, want to take a little bubble bath with it later. I don't know. Looks looks pretty cute. Uh, but you don't even have to have that open. What you do is you just double click this. Automatically opens up CyberDuck, and pulls down your uh, <clears throat> your login information. Now uh, this isn't my username for that account, so I'm going to type that in. Okay, bam. That accesses all of the files that are on my hosting server uh, automatically. And 
no real work to be done there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up, I think it's in here, yeah. Okay, here are all the pages on my uh, joshthomas80.com website. And I wanted to do this, uh, if, you would re if you remember, <clears throat> when you go to my page here, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to go home. Now, if you look here, I've, I've changed my index page, uh, but I haven't published it yet. Okay, right here there's a quote. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Kind of a cheesy quote, but uh, I don't know. If you can come up with a better one, send me an email. Uh, but this is the published page right now. Okay, and I want to show you how fast this thing works. Okay, now I've changed that quote in this page, and I've saved it here on my desktop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, and I'm just going to drag it over into CyberDuck, and I'm going to let go of the button. Okay, it's already on there, so it's asking me if I want to overwrite. I say yes, and within two seconds, it's done and it's published live on the internet. Now, watch this. Okay, what I'll do is I'm going to refresh the page, and I've changed the quote. This shows that the FTP works and fast. So what I've done in those two seconds of drag and drop is I've published a web page to the internet. Um, pretty cool. Okay, and that is, that is FTP, and that's what it does for you. It transfers pages on your desktop onto your hosting service and to the internet for the world to see. That's all there is to it. And uh, if you have uh, other questions about getting your hosting, your domains, or your uh, software set up, I have some other videos for that too. So you can check those out at joshthomas80.com. Thanks very much. Have a good one.